There are three main shutter designs, full height, tier on tier and T-posts. With each design you can choose the louver size, how to operate them, the number of shutters and how you open them. It's really important the design of your shutters matches the window, so in this video I'll show you more about each design and the options you can choose. The full height design means the shutters cover the whole window from top to bottom. This is the most popular design and suits most window layouts. With full height, you can line up a rail on the shutters with a rail on the window. This splits the louvers in half and allows you to open the top separately from the bottom, providing extra privacy. Rails are required as standard over certain heights and they vary in width depending on the louver size you choose. You can find these sizes in the technical information. Choose full height for most window designs and to keep the style simple. The tier on tier design splits the shutters in half with a horizontal T post allowing the top shutters to be opened separately from the bottom shutters. This design works well for tall narrow windows. You don't want to choose tier on tier if the window is wider than the height. With the tier on tier design Bifolding shutters look good as they can be folded back neatly. Wider shutters will protrude into the room unless you install the shutters at the front of the recess so the shutters could then be wrapped back round the wall. Choose tier on tier if your window is taller than it is wide, like a portrait style window. Tier on tier designs work best if there is a halfway rail on your window to match the tier height width. A T post is a vertical post fitted within the frame. It divides a full height shutter into sections, ensuring each shutter matches the layout of the window. They can be lined up with any vertical uprights on your window. If the end window is open, with a T-post design you can easily open just one shutter at a time rather than bifolding two shutters back. You can order middle rails with a T-post design but not tier on tier. Find the minimum and maximum distances between T-posts in the technical information. Choose a T-post design with wide windows that have three or four sections. Adjustable louver blades fit within the shutter panels. They can be tilted up or down to adjust the amount of light or privacy in the room. There are two louver sizes, 64mm and 89mm. This is the width across the blade. Both sizes can be used in all three designs. Choose 89mm louvers if you want a clean modern look. They work well with full height and T-post designs or with wider larger shutters. They are easier to clean and provide more light and a better view through the shutters. Remember a larger louver does require an extension to the back of the standard frame as it protrudes further. Choose 64mm louvers for a more traditional look, smaller windows or tier on tier designs. If you're fitting shutters on several windows in different rooms, it's still best to keep the louver size the same. Louver blades are connected together with a control rod. There are two types a central control rod visible at the front of the shutter or a smaller hidden control rod fitted at the back of the shutter. The louvers are tilted by moving the central rod or moving an actual louver blade. The central control rod is more robust. It makes adjusting the louvers quick and easy and suits both louver sizes. The hidden rod provides a modern clean look. It offers extra privacy options as you can split the rod across all the shutters or just one shutter. They are good in bathrooms as they make cleaning easy and they look great with a large 89mm louver. Depending on the window width you can choose how many shutters you have across your window and how you open them. When choosing it's important to match the number of shutters to the window sections. A single window would have one shutter that could be hinged left or right. A double window would have two shutters opening left and right. The triple window would have two T posts with a single shutter between each post. The outer shutters would open left and right. The centre shutter 
could open left or right. If your window has a wider pane of glass in the centre, you would have two T-posts again, this time with two centre shutters, opening left and right, and the two outside shutters opening left and right. For taller windows, with a tier-on-tier -tier option, you can choose between two shutters, opening left and right, or four shutters that bifold left and right. Most people keep the shutters closed and only adjust the louvers for light and privacy, so don't worry too much about how or where the shutters open. You will find they remain closed apart from the cleaning or to access the window. This is why it's important they match the layout of the window, so let the window design do the choosing for you. Frame extensions are provided to increase the depth of a standard shutter frame. They provide extra clearance between the back of the frame and back of the louver. This is important to note if you're fixing back to the window frame, because you don't want the louvers hitting the window or any handles. The 64mm louver blade has 4mm clearance. With each extension you gain 13mm. So one extension provides a 17mm clearance. Two extensions will give you 30mm. Three extensions 43mm and four extensions 56mm of clearance. The large 89mm louver needs one extension as standard. This gives you 4mm of clearance from the back of the frame to the back of the louver, so with two extensions you get 17mm clearance. Three extensions 30mm and four extensions 43mm clearance. Remember, if your window handle is positioned behind the style of a shutter or rail, you might be able to reduce the number of extensions because the louver blades will not be directly in front of them. Extensions can be slid off if you find you don't need them. They are not provided on the back of T-posts and they are a free of charge option. Choose extensions for extra clearance when fitting back to the frame or fitting sideways into the wall as they provide more space to hide any fitting packers. White is the standard colour hinge, but when your shutters are being fitted in a bathroom or kitchen, you can upgrade to stainless steel hinges. There is a surcharge for stainless steel hinges based on the number of shutter panels within your frame. Choose a stainless hinge for steamy bathrooms or kitchens if the shutters are likely to get splashed. So to recap, when choosing a design for your window, base it around your window shape and size. So if you have a tall window, a full height or tier on tier design would be good. If your window is wide and short, then full height or a T-post design would be more suitable. Keep the number of shutters or folds to a minimum. Ensure you match the number of shutters to the number of sections in your window. You want to avoid the shutters fitting across the uprights of your windows, as you can see them when the louvers are open. Part of getting a good looking shutter is getting the design right. And one important thing to remember is that you don't have to open a shutter to let the light in, so most people don't. It's only the louver blades that get tilted. So, with this in mind, it's best to fit the shutters inside the recess as close to the window as possible. For extra help on shutter design, choosing louver sizes or the right size extension, take a look at our blog for further videos. Once you have designed your shutters, the next step is to decide how and where the shutters will be installed so you can measure correctly. There are three main fitting positions, and I'll show you where in the next video. If you found our video helpful, please support us by sharing our website with your friends. Thank you.